Hello everyone. Today, I would like to introduce how Huawei switches connect to IP phones. In contrast to ordinary phones, IP phones transmit voice signals over the network. Based on the TCP IP protocol suite, network devices transmit voice signals through the network after sampling and digitizing these voice signals. Therefore, on a VoIP network, an IP phone needs to connect to a switch to transmit voice traffic. In this situation, both voice and data flows are transmitted on the VoIP network. When interconnecting IP phones and switches, it is essential to preferentially transmit voice flows to ensure communication quality. It is common knowledge that packets with the highest priority are transmitted first. Therefore, voice packets must be identified and prioritized if they are to be preferentially transmitted. A switch identifies voice packets through the following two ways. The first way is identifying voice VLAN IDs carried in the packets sourced from IP phones. A voice VLAN is used to specifically forward voice packets. A Huawei switch allows a VLAN to be specified as a voice VLAN and can allocate a specified voice VLAN ID to an IP phone only through protocols such as LLDP and DHCP. The other way is identifying the organizationally unique identifier of an IP phone. OUI is the first 24 bits of a MAC address and is a unique identifier assigned by the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers to a device vendor. Generally, the IEEE allocates a 24-bit address segment from which a device vendor allocates addresses to devices. Next, let's see how a switch improves the priority of a voice packet. For a Layer 2 packet, the COS value in the VLAN tag determines the packet priority. In contrast, for a Layer 3 packet, the DSCP value in the IPv4 packet header determines the packet priority. Therefore, increasing the COS value or DSCP value in a voice packet increases the voice packet priority. After the voice VLAN function is enabled on a Huawei switch, the COS value defaults to 6 and the DSCP value defaults to 46. For the interconnection between IP phones and switches, there are two modes that IP phones use to identify voice packets. The first mode that IP phones use to identify voice packets is through the voice VLAN IDs that voice packets carry. IP phones can obtain voice VLAN IDs using the following four methods. Method 1. Obtain voice VLAN IDs through LLDP. Method 2. Obtain voice VLAN IDs through the network policy TLV field of LLDP. Method 3. Obtain voice VLAN IDs through CDP. Method 4. Obtain voice VLAN IDs through DHCP. The second mode that IP phones use to identify voice packets is used when IP phones cannot obtain voice VLAN IDs. Instead, switches identify voice packets based on the OUI of IP phones and connect to IP phones using the following five methods. Method 1. Connect IP phones to switches through the OUI-based voice VLAN. Method 2. Connect IP phones to switches through MAC address-based VLAN assignment. Method 3. Connect IP phones to switches through the PVID of the voice VLAN ID. Method 4. Connect IP phones to switches through ACLs. Method 5. Connect IP phones to switches through an ACL-based simplified traffic policy. In total, Huawei switches can connect to IP phones in nine ways. Based on the verification of the interconnection between Huawei switches and IP phones of different vendors, you are advised to use the following methods to connect IP phones to switches. Method 1. Connect IP phones to Huawei switches through LLDP. Method 2. Connect IP phones to Huawei switches through the OUI-based voice VLAN. Method 3. Connect Cisco IP phones to Huawei switches through HDP. 
To obtain the list of IP phones that can be connected to Huawei switches, see List of IP phone models that can be connected to switches on Huawei Technical Support website. Let's look at the configuration roadmap for interconnecting Huawei switches and IP phones. First, based on attributes of an IP phone, select the mode of identifying voice packets and determine whether the voice packet priority needs to be improved. Deploy a DHCP server to allocate an IP address to the IP phone. Finally, select an appropriate authentication method to authenticate the IP phone. The next section explains detailed configuration roadmaps and configuration procedures for the three recommended interconnection methods.